Hey people, I'm John B. And I'm Callie Lewis. Today on Geek Beat Live, Apple, Apple, Apple. OMG, BBMZTA is ASAP. Pirating may now be a good thing. Voyager has left the building. And a robot petting zoo. Awesome, it all starts now. <laughs> To the show, people. Thanks. Why are you calling them people? It's like they are people. It, it, it's like I don't know. It sounds rude, almost. On my planet, we call them something else. <laughs> While I'm here, I'll call them people. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks you're, for you're joining us. When, you remember when last week? Shannon was dancing to the music in between. She was awesome. It was good to have her. Oh. I wish I had another girl host here this week. I know you wish you could replace me with snubs. But you can't. She's not in Texas, and I am. <laughs> and you guys are too. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Geek Beat TV. I can't believe you're subjecting yourself to this <laughs> yet again. But we appreciate that you do. So, uh, we, yeah, last week we had a great show. This week, I'm not so sure it's going to be a great show, but it's going to be a show. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a show. Um, We're going to show you something. And then next week, we are actually, actually tomorrow, uh, we're heading to Hawaii. Yay! Hawaii. So there will not be a show next week. She doesn't know how to say it right, by the way. I, I make fun of you for saying it that way. I cannot say it that way. You, you are challenging me that when we come back, I will be saying Hawaii like you do. Say it. Let's see how she says Hawaii when we get back. Say it. Let's see. Hawaii. Again. Hawaii. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying it the correct way. You may sound like a dumb Texan hick, but I am saying it like they say in Hawaii. Okay. Mahalo. You're just showing You'll off. You'll see. I promise I won't show off, but I will be posting lots of photos and videos while we're over there, as long will as we you? have good connectivity. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we have civilization. When we're well, down we're be... inside the <laughs> crater of a volcano, let's see if she can post. I may not be posting them live as we go, but I will try and are you something, guys, are do you something. Are you guys going to be wearing one of those silver suits that, with, the, with the big can helmet? Thing when you go in the volcano? I don't need to. I am fireproof. You have an asbestos butt? At least in my mind. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, but John will also be posting better photos than even me. So be sure to pay attention to Google Plus and Twitter. Be sure. I don't know what I was saying. <sighs> so, so much pressure. Why do you have to tell people that I'm going to be posting the good photos? What if I want to post the crappy photos? You can post the crappy photos, but camera. you will have, um, yeah, use my camera. <laughs> Great, thanks. I just, I'm just not. By the good. way, speaking of cameras, um, I do want to point out, yet again this week, I'm using my iographer yes, with my you are. iPad mini. Uh, CJ's here today in person, and he pointed out that people would not believe this is actually an iPad mini. This sure. is an iPad mini. It is an iPad mini. See, that's my proof. It's inside an iographer on a little Edelkrone slider with a Manfrotto head. And that is all I have to say about that. But that is not what I was actually going to show you. Here's what I was going you to show you. You show us that every week, which is awesome. What? Here's what I was going to show you. This, are you okay. hungry? <laughs> yes, I'm This <laughs> is my 1D, okay? My Canon 1D, my big 1D. Now, this is cool. Uh huh. I just bought this. We yes. didn't get it in for review. And I bought this. You've been torturing this. me in the office. D is it bright? Yes, it's very bright. Wait. Is this bright? Well, it's actually not terrible. Actually, the lights are pretty terrible. good. Look, watch, watch her. Watch her. Here's with the light. Here's without. With, without. Now, that's cool. You've seen little LED lights before, but you've never seen one that will do this. See this button right here? There's a button, and when I hit it, it turns on. Now it's in flash mode, okay? Now, if I take a picture of her, oops, <laughs> I, I'm, a little, okay. I'm a little close, there. Did you see the flash pop? Did the flash pop? Here, let me point, a, let me point here. Let's see if it works. 
There. You see how it got just a little brighter for a second? What happens is it, get, it gets about 400% brighter just for that split second. So you have a combination uh, photo and video flash in one unit. Very cool. That's that is cool. awesome. How much was it? Why am I pronouncing two Moving words at on. the same time? You don't want to know <gasps> how much it was. <laughs> really? It was two hundred dollars. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I, I thought we were supposed to discuss expenses before buying things. Okay, and moving on. But we'll have on that conversation later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Other things. All right, so we're gonna actually take a commercial break and uh, come back and talk about some news. When we of the come week. back, can I rant about FedEx? Yeah, you can. Okay. Welcome back to Geek Be Live. I'm Callie. I'm John, and I'm disappointed because well, I, I didn't get to talk about FedEx. I know, I know. So why don't we discuss what FedEx has done to us today? Okay. Actually, I have to say, before we start ranting, that FedEx is usually fantastic. The guy who comes in, the couple guys that come in are awesome and funny and always very jovial. Let's not go confusing the fact that we like FedEx with whether or not I'm going to flambe them. Okay. Okay? I'm just flambe. stating, you know. That's right. Okay. So we had an overnight package sent to us. Uh-huh. Uh, and it was one of those, apparently, that we didn't know, that was overnighted for the first thing in the morning. Not like the 10 a.m., but It like doesn't matter. We had many things. You're making excuses already, and I didn't even <laughs> say what I'm going to say. Go. We've had many things. FedEx to us overnight first morning delivery but you know what doesn't happen they don't show up at 7 14 in the morning for the flambe thank you very much uh, they do not show up at 7 14 in the morning no they no, don't they've no, never done this before no business is open at 7 14 people are dropping their kids off at daycare school center whatever people with That's children what you were do doing okay this morning, right? uh, uh, so we have to go and pick it up. Now, why does that bother me? A, I have to go pick it up. B, because I was really wanting to show you guys what was coming. It's the new Wayfay. Uh, it's not a, a Wi-Fi, it's a Wayfay. Dave. It's W-E-Y-E. -E work some -E kind of magical -E. something and show them on the screen what a Wayfay is. Here's what it is. It is a little controller mm -hmm. like a cam ranger w e y e f e y e two words wait a <laughs> it's a little camera controller it controls your dslr remotely it's like a cam ranger or an i usb port those are two competitors for it but it's another one of these so what i can do is i can take it hook up my 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 like my 1d or 5d on a tripod with uh, my with the Wayfay connected to it, and then wirelessly, there you go. The, see the little orange thing on that yep. mini tripod. See the guy on his iPad. He's standing away from the tripod, controlling every aspect of the camera and taking pictures. So, I am going to be taking it with us to Hawaii to give it a test. Yes. But now I have to drive my bleep all the way across town to pick it up because they decided to come at 7.15 a.m. Yep. I'm sorry. I would go pick it up for you, but it's in your name. I don't know why they sent it to you. I'm the I, one who I, asked for it. The more important thing is that Callie was late. I was, yeah, yeah, what were you I doing came, getting here I at 7.20? I came in like a few minutes later than they were here. I anyway, was so bummed. Anyway. The good news is that yesterday we got another package in. Unfortunately, I could not wait for yeah. unboxing time. Yeah, you couldn't even wait a day. I couldn't do it. But you guys can watch that unboxing. Have we released the it'll unboxing? Be no, it'll be Wednesday, I believe. You can well, watch the unboxing next week. Yeah, we shot it on video. You can see it. It's epic because I got a digi slider. Digi slider. Look it up. D-I-G-I-S-L-I-D-E-R. It is a slider like this one, like this little Elkrone slider, so you can put your camera and slide it back and forth, only it's bigger and it's motorized. Yes, it is going to be important. awesome. When Both you of want these to take time lapse awesome. and video shooting, it's motorized. And are you going to load me up like a mule while we're travel hiking around? El burro. El burro. <laughs> Great. El burro. This is going to be a fun trip. 
Okay, so moving on to the news. Uh, iOS 7 launched this week, of course, uh, and everyone was all excited about it. So if you haven't downloaded it, you should be able to download it now. Everyone, of course, had problems with it uh, the day of. That always happens. I don't know Look, why people try to download it within the first hour. I tried to download it five times and then finally abandoned it until uh, like 2 a.m. and then I downloaded it. Right. Here, look, I've got it on my iPad mini. Watch what happens when you have a group of, uh, what do you call this? I don't know what you call it. Fo you like put your icons folder? in a folder. Yeah. Watch what happens when you click a folder now. You click that and look, ooh, ah, it opens up the folder like that, okay? Yeah. And then another thing is you can drag stuff down from like the center of the screen. There's all this junk in there. I don't know what. Yeah, and look, you can drag up from the bottom, and look, more junk there. <gasps> Android doesn't have two sliders. Yes, it does, but there's junk no, it everywhere. Doesn't. It depends on which version you well, got. Well, that's true. That's true. So, uh, anyway, uh, so liking. iOS 7 is out. Uh, we do have a review from uh, Ken, who actually was uh, playing with the developer version for months. That's right. So go check that out at geekbeat.tv. Um, Slash what? I don't remember. 710. Just go to the show notes. Seven, I mean 11. 111. Well, I said 710. 710 is the episode I shot earlier. It's 111. <laughs> um, Pandora, if you listen to music, which all, I think all of us around here at the office use Pandora for listening to music, don't what you? What is this thing you call music? <laughs> So they've been trying to, like when they, when they do deals, um, they have to get it straight from the record company. Well, now the court has basically said you can get it from ASCAP. Or is that right? ASCAP. Am I, am I saying that? ASCAP. ASCAP. Oh, I'm sorry. It's ASCAP. ASCAP. Correction. <laughs> I, I was calling it ASCAP. Apparently it's ASCAP. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So it should be uh, less expensive for them to, to get music um, and get us better songs, more songs to be able to listen to with our. To our be kids. honest, I only want to listen to like five different songs over and over and over. Well, that isn't going to really work so well with Pot with uh, Pandora. So you might want to try Spotify or something like more on demand. Okay, but you and know I'm what I... And I'm trying to be serious when he was making a joke. I don't but know you know what I won't be trying? What? Uh, what's that other app that I said uh, takes up the second most memory in... Vine. No, that Vine is number one. Oh, you're thinking of SoundCloud. 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 I won't be using SoundCloud because, well, if you missed my daily show, like, when was it? Yesterday or earlier this week? Uh, yeah, it was yesterday. Then you don't know why, and I'm not going to tell you now. Oh, okay, I'll tell such you. A teaser. I'll tell you. So somebody did this study of the apps, the ten worst, most bloated apps you can put yep. on your device, and the worst of all was Vine, in terms of its cash usage. It it uses like three point two gig worth of space each time you launch it. Crazy. Okay, and then number two, SoundCloud. And I accused you of listening to SoundCloud. You did. I, I don't actually. Well, yeah, you do. Oh, I do, I do, I do. You do. Yes, that's my favorite one. Not anymore, though. Um, it's not anymore. <laughs> so, uh, also this week, BlackBerry. Um, so Two actually, things. BBM. Two things about BlackBerry. I get to say the second thing. Go, f go for it. You can say the first thing. Uh, I was going to go for the second thing, so do you know the first thing? No, I get to say the second thing because I'm the one who said in the opening, OMG, BBM. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But go for it. You tell them. BBM is coming out on Android and iOS this weekend. What is BBM, you may ask? It is BlackBerry Messenger, that greedy little messaging app that all those Crackberry addicts have had access to for the last decade that you didn't. Don't you feel out of the loop? Now Don't you do. Don't you want it on your device? No, but to be honest, BBM has always been the best instant messaging universally on the planet. It really, really honestly is. It is the best. 
uh, it's the reason BlackBerry is still in existence, even though they're kind of on the rocks. Right. But BBM is fantastic. And now, even though they're looking to potentially sell off the company or do something like that, making BBM um, available to all platforms is fantastic. It is. Because not only is it going to benefit BlackBerry users, but it opens it up so that even if you don't have one, you can communicate securely with other people on, right. the, on BBM. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm very excited. I'm I can't wait. To, to having that on, on my mobile devices. If you, uh, if you are a BlackBerry fan, and the Z30 came out this week, so you can go check that out. It's a 5-inch phone. 1280 um, by 720 screen, dual core, 1.7 snap, Snapdragon Pro with a 2880 milliamps battery. I was trying to move on quickly, but good job. Uh, Fios, one more before we have to go to commercial break. Uh, Fios customers. We love Fios. I, I, I heard about Fios, but I don't actually, I didn't read the story yet. That's because I put it in there just before okay. the show. Tell me about it then. I'm like, Verizon, Fios, yay. Verizon just announced that for Fios subscribers, you will be able to get a bunch of channels on your Android or iOS devices that you can watch from anywhere. Oh, cool. Like BBC America, BBC World News, Epix, NFL Network, Thursday Night Football, Tennis Channel, Food Network, Travel Channel. So think about this. Tennis Channel, hallelujah! Right, the Tennis <laughs> Channel. Actually, yeah, there's some nice oh. tennis play going on. Uh, but what I was saying is, if you have Fios, first of all, you benefit because you have badass fiber optic internet connectivity. Yeah. Secondly, you got all that TV and stuff. And thirdly, now you can watch shows anywhere awesome. you go on your tablet. Very cool. Thanks, Fios, even though I don't have it. Come to Arlington, Fios. All right, so we're going to head off to commercial break. But before we do, we want you to go leave a fame spot, a video message for us. Today's fame spot question of the day. Who pisses you off more, FedEx or PayPal? Go to FameSpot, go to geeky.tv forward slash FameSpot and mine. tell us. But okay, whatever. I mean, I don't have to take it. Do I piss you go off geeky. more than that? Geeky.tv slash FameSpot. Welcome back to Geek Beat Live, folks. I didn't call them people. We are glad to have you joining us today <laughs> yes, for we are indeed. Gadget and App Time. Perhaps you're watching the show on cable TV. Maybe you are. Perhaps you're watching the show on, on iTunes. On a pirated feed that you got from using uh, some kind of pirating software platform. We wouldn't know anything about how you would access that. I don't that. really know how so, those things work. You know, it, but it's out there. We know it's out there. But what we do know <laughs> is that Netflix loves it. They do. They are actually using the information about what you are pirating out there and using it to buy certain shows. So if a lot of people are pirating a certain show, a certain movie, then they are going to put all their effort into getting that on their network. So what's the moral of this story? The moral awesome of this story that. is... We it would, really is. We would really sincerely appreciate it if you would all rip this show, <laughs> put it out there on the torrents <laughs> and on the new Usenet and whatever. Hey, you know, we're not I, supposed I, to actually, know I don't know how, how you do these things, but, it, but if you would maybe do that with Geek Beat, <laughs> then perhaps one day Geek Beat will be on Netflix. I think it's a good plan. I think it's a very good plan. I like your evil thinking. All right. Well, um, <laughs> speaking of evil, Disney. Right. Actually, no, they, they are launching. They're not evil. I love no, Disney. No, gosh, no. Um, they launched the Aishindenshin. Aishindenshin. It is Aishindenshin. A, <laughs> it's a project um, all about electrostatic sound, about uh, transferring music. Take a look at this video um, and how it works. The microphone records the signal. The sound is transformed into an inaudible signal. And that is transmitted to the person's body when holding the microphone. When
touching another person's ear, a modulated electrostatic attraction force is created, and both the finger and the ear together form a speaker. So let the me make sure that I just have this correct. Um, Dave, I'm going to go ahead and try it out here. So I just talk into this and I do this, right? No, no. come back. It works no. better when you. Isn't that right? Is that what no. you're supposed to do? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh well, I don't know. You're not supposed to lick your finger, you just touch. <laughs> What they want you to do is give people a wet willy. Actually, it's worse. They want you to give people a dry willy. <laughs> I mean, at least, so you're not at least you can lubricate in, it if you're going to stick your you're finger not, you're not going in somebody's inside. ear. You're going here on the fleshy part, right outside. Well, Although, I, I personally, I have a bubble space issue, so I wouldn't want you know anybody coming up to me, me like you know trying to talk to me like that. But it could be useful in certain situations. Well, here's the funny thing, okay? The funny thing is they say that this will work. It has a daisy chain effect. It'll work through multiple people. So have you ever played that game? I can't remember what it's called, where you have like ten people and one person. You whisper something yeah. to the other person, and then you see how it changed by the time it goes through right. everybody. Well, in this case, you don't need to because all you have to do is touch this person. They touch the other person. You touch 20 people, and then you whisper your secret. Bang, they got it. Well, that deletes Clear the, as day. That just deletes the whole purpose of the, the fun of the game. It deletes it, does it? It deletes it. <laughs> okay. You get, you get me. I know you know what I'm talking about. Well, I do right. know what you're talking about. Another thing that we really need to be careful of nowadays is communicable diseases, yes. which is why you should always put a condom on your USB stick. All right, I mean so. your USB device. Basically, you just need to always have a condom. <laughs> And when I say condom, what I mean is I'm talking about protection for your iPhone, your iPad, or whatever, because... Uh, well, this condom basically protects the USB stick. Everybody behind the scenes is laughing now. Um, USB stick from uh, anything, any issues. And I actually thought Sorry, that this might be an issue. I thought this would be a stupid thing until I thought about the fact that Trey Ratcliffe actually had an issue uh, Getting. that because he, he was using um, his he went to Burning Man and he was putting you know USB sticks in his computer and taking them out and everything and they wound up with sand in them yeah that's true this would have fixed that issue the moral of the story folks is don't go sticking your dongle all over the place in every other slot you can stick it in okay it's yeah. just it's just not good to do unless you've got protection. So what they've done is they've created this special USB condom and you plug your USB cable into it, it into the other thing and it blocks the data ports so that only the power ports go so you can go you can go ahead and stick your little dongle everywhere you want to and it'll charge you up and you'll get all you know lots of power from it but you won't get all those nasty viruses and things I'm glad you're having fun with this John <laughs> That's I hope right. you guys are having fun with this story as well. All right. <laughs> but we are going to go to a commercial break. So you can let us know by sending us a fame spot whether you use condoms or not on your USB sticks. Or you can answer the real fame spot question of the day. Who makes you ang more angry, FedEx or UPS? Was that the right fame spot question? Sure. Just getting ready for Hawaii. What's the difference between aloha and mahalo? Is mahalo bye? Thank you. Oh, it's thank you? Yeah, I guess. Because yeah. you keep switching them up and like you're saying hi. No. no. You said mahalo. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Mahalo, mahalo is thank you. Right. Okay. You'll learn whenever we go to Hawaii. <laughs> All right. So it is sciencey time. And the big news is. That Voyager, Voyager has, has left, left the solar, the solar system. system a year ago. A year ago? Apparently, it actually did it on August 25th of last year, but NASA's just now telling us. <laughs> Why? Why are they just now telling us? Though? I don't know. 
It doesn't make any sense to me. So how long is it going to be before that bald-headed girl starts talking to it? <laughs> uh, I don't know what he's talking about. V'ger. 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 What Star is Trek the motion about? picture. You guys lost all credibility. What are you talking? I don't totally, know what he is. Okay, totally and we're gonna just move right Although, along. Although V'ger <laughs> is was like the actually like the beginning of like the Borg and all that kind of crap. That thing left. That girl was ball headed. She was talking to it. And oh, I know motion. Borg. I yeah. know the Borg. Oh, you're telling Viger me V'ger is Voyager. Yes, I know. What, no, I don't remember. Was that what the Borg were calling Voyager? They were calling it Voyager. They got it, and and some of it was dirty and stuff or whatever. So oh. it was they pronounced it was being pronounced Voyager, but it started talking about seeing a civilization of nothing but. But see, that's Star Trek the motion picture, you guys. Okay, so okay. Why, don't, why don't you log into the chat room after the show Hang and on, have, duke it out with the guys I'm, in the chat room? I'm, I'm I do have to black. point out. I do have to point out that Ben appropriately titled the story. Viger has left the solar system, yet neither of us were smart enough to get it. The only thing that I know about the Borg is I don't care how many wires and things she had coming out of her, that Borg head, like, lady chick, hot. I'm not kidding. She was hot. She was. You know that's, all, that's all I'm going to say. Okay. I was going to try and transition, but it was going to be really awkward. Okay. <laughs> moving, moving on. Talking about hot. We're going to be talking about dinosaurs now. Um, it was really so. hot when the dinosaurs burned up. All right. So, you know, Jurassic Park. Everybody loves the movies. Jurassic Park series. Three of them. And scientists decided to figure out if maybe they could replicate what they did in the movies in yeah. order to really bring back the dinosaurs yeah, they're like, in hey, reality. Why don't we make some triceratopses? My thought would have been that it wasn't possible. Turns out, it's not possible. <laughs> so your thought would have been right. Yes. <laughs> okay, so here's what happened. You see that stuff you're looking at? That's called amber. No, not my cousin amber. That is stuff called amber, and there's DNA stuck in it from dino age. However, okay, uh, the, the scientists discovered that when they dug the DNA out of the amber, I'm just mesmerized looking at the, the amber with the bug. It's they beautiful. discovered that, you know what, it won't work because even DNA stuck inside of amber is subject to the half-life of DNA, which is about six million years. And uh, apparently dinosaurs are 65 million years old. So, oh, you well. don't get any dinosaurs. We just got a package from FedEx. Wouldn't it be, that, there's no way, this can't be it, it's way too light, but wouldn't it be interesting if that, it, it, is, it, is. it is. Here I was whining <laughs> about, you know all that bad stuff I was saying about FedEx earlier? I take it all back. Sorry FedEx, I love you again. Well, at least now you don't have to take a trip. They were obviously watching. <laughs> yeah, they I had guess, somebody come right over. I guess over. somebody made a call. <laughs> All right, so um, odd is it's time for odd. So in London, where we're going to be visiting, maybe we can uh, visit this uh, skyscraper. I don't know about that. Why? Go ahead and tell them what. <laughs> go ahead and tell them why. <laughs> you don't want to die. I don't want to be anywhere <laughs> near this skyscraper. <laughs> so they they created this awesome skyscraper. It's got like it's 37 stories. It's curved design, but it has a giant magnifying glass at the top. <laughs> you know how when you were a little kid, you would go out and torture ants by finding your grandmother's little magnifying glass, and you'd focus the sun on them. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody built one into the top of this building. And turns out it's causing problems with all the people around them. The, the light literally, <laughs> yeah, it's like a James Bond villain. The light literally goes through this building and comes out the other end. Isn't two, that crazy? 210 degrees. So I'm 212 sure. is the boiling point of water, right? So like. <laughs> Who, what, what was the designer thinking? I'm not sure. But they said they were going to put up some, like, scaffolding kind of thing, but they really don't have a fix in mind at the moment. They're going to leave the building there. They're just going to, like, kind of put something in the way. <laughs> that way, 
whenever they decide that they want to just accidentally remove it while someone is standing in the exact portion where they will be vaporized, they can just claim, oops. <laughs> <laughs> also, this one I'm loving. This is awesome. You know that movie with the girl and the boy? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a great movie. <laughs> Twister. <laughs> All right, well, oh, shoot, I had it in my head earlier. I can't remember the name of the movie. It's where, like, they go underground and they live, and the boy, that boy actually grows up underground, so he doesn't know. It's like Alicia Silverstone. Come on, guys. Like in CO yes, Man Brandon or something. Frazier. Or uh, no, no. It's not Encino Man because that's when. Anyway. He was buried in muck. That's a, that's a, yeah, the yeah. Anyway, that Blast from movie. the Past. Thank you guys. Blast from the Past. The, I was just buying you time so right. the chat room could answer the question. It remind, This story reminds me of Blast from the Past because in Vegas, they have found. Uh, it's actually in bankruptcy. This house, it's an underground villa, essentially. It's an underground house, but way more than just a house. It has... Um, it's 16,000 square feet, isn't it? Yeah, 16,000 square feet. It's uh, 26 foot underground. It has like fake trees, murals on the wall to make it look like you're outdoors. It has all sorts of like, I, I think it has like a gym. It has like different things. And if neighbors. you have $1.7 million, you can buy into this sweet little underground retreat in Vegas. It's pretty cool. I want it. Can you can you buy it for me? Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll go ahead and buy it for okay. you. Uh, Pablo, give me my phone. I'm gonna make a call and we'll just get that. Uh, but we'll do it while we're at commercial break because we will be right back. <laughs> at which time I am unfortunately going to have to relinquish the reins to Callie because it will be robot time. All right. Yes. Yay! to Geek Be Live. I'm super excited. Our live guest is just walking out the door. I so I guess I he did not like You bored him to tears. I guess so. You bored him wow. to tears. Anyway. I think he got a phone call. <laughs> on one of his many devices. I am excited about these robot stories today. Um, All right, let's hear what's going to kill us. I'm waiting. Well, so there's a, a a play that's happening out in Germany and so they decided that they were going to build the largest robotic uh, dragon in the universe. And so they did. Take a look. Do we have that up, Dave? Yes, apparently we do. This thing is awesome. Does it, it walk? It breathes fire. It's wow. called Tradino. Its wings come together. Its wings come together. It breathes Ooh. fire. It's filled with They fuel. cut it on a water jet machine. Something. Yeah, I, I don't know how it was actually made. Wait, um, what did that say? Can you go back a little German. bit? It's German. We're not going to be able to read it. I was going to read it. Oh, okay. It was awesome. He, it can't, was very, like, he can't go back very easily. Schlitt for something. There, and you know what? It is. Uh, <laughs> this is awesome. Um, but how much did they we cost? Were, how much did it cost? I don't. They didn't say. Oh, okay. Remember when we were at Disney uh -huh. World? Mm -hmm. And they had a special media event uh, for the press, and we uh, got to see a special dragon that they had built. <gasps> yes, I remember that. It was that. actually flying, flying around in the sky, breathing fire. Yeah. It was amazing. I took some video or picture did, or something. Yeah. I think I shared it. You shared it yeah. on like Google Plus and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, it, was pretty cool. it reminded me of that, but I don't think it was quite as big as this thing. Okay, well, I don't even need to talk about this because everybody can clearly see how this robot could kill and eat us all. If it just had a little more intelligence, which all the other ones you've got are going to gang up with this thing and have little spawn little baby dinosaur robotic <laughs> dragon children. to It's the end of the world. But what else you got for us? A, a petting zoo built out of robots. Well, not built a out robot of robots. A robot zoo? petting zoo. So, like, you go to the petting zoo and you get to pet horses and goats and cute little bunnies. Well, now you can go pet robots. They actually built these robots to be able to interact with the visitors. So as you walk by and you kind of learn about it and touch it, uh, it'll kind of react to you. And this is awesome. Now, it's John, using a camera. It's using like, a camera that around looks like it. That bored lady thing. That's that room that they it put the card does. in. Those those little arms yep. are clearly clearly designed to re 
wrap yeah. right around your neck. It's the board. And choke you to death. Yep. Look at that. Yep. They're <laughs> like, please, get a little closer. <laughs> Luckily, those people know, know better, but... Yeah. No, that guy died after they stopped filming. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. And of course, like all robotics that I talk about, they are designed to learn where from are the they? interaction. You know what? They didn't really... I don't know where it is. Um... I'll be I'll be honest. I'd check that out. That's Where is it, cool. Ben? Do you do you know? That's kind of cool. Because I'm I, gonna give it up. I didn't see that. Not nearly as cool as planes, trains, and automobiles, though. Actually, I think it's pretty darn cool. I All can't right. imagine you having anything that beats that dragon. You can't. No. Hmm. Well, let me see. I'll scroll right on down to my so planes, you trains, and automobiles. For this segment, I see. Uh, you could have prepared. And actually, what happened was I just accidentally spawned another sheet. Spawned another sheet. I spawned sheet. a sheet. You spawned a sheet. <laughs> yeah, I should have. But where's my dongle now? Uh, anyway. What you got? It turns out, speaking of planes, you can get free flights on United Airlines. What? That's right. Not only does United break guitars, they give free flights away. Wow. Or at least they were for a short period of time. What? When a, a, an employee made an accidental, put a glitch in the system. Oh, no. And people were getting free airfare. Wow. And then they found it and they fixed the glitch. So how long was this going on? About two hours. Uh, yeah, it's going on for a while. And guess what? Everybody who got the free tickets gets to keep them. Nice. All they have to do is pay their airport security costs, though, which are, you know, five or ten bucks, something like that. Oh, okay. So Fair if, enough. You, if you booked a free flight on, Uni on United, hey. Wow. Relish this moment. It's the first and only time you're going to get one over on them. Very Just cool. like in Tommy Boy. But you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. So we're going to move right on. Uh, what else do you have? Do you remember back in January of 2012? Yes, I remember. It was at 2.52 p.m. Right. Off the coast of, uh, where was it? I Italy, I believe. I believe it was off the coast Wait, of Italy. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. When wow. a disaster occurred. Are you covering an Italian story? A, well, yeah, because this is typical of how things go in Italy. A cruise liner sank. Ah, uh, yes. And 32 people died, and 4,200 people were rescued. Yeah. Anyway, that thing has been laying on its side underwater yeah. this whole time. They didn't, they didn't, like, fish it out? It's a big boat. They didn't put a net over and just pull? No, they didn't. It takes a little time. That's why she's not a maritime salvage. Right. What they have to do is they have to turn it upright mm -hmm. and float it. Yeah. Only one little challenge with that. The boat happened to be resting right on the edge of a continental cliff. Oh. So if you like turned it upright and it was just went a little bit over, it's like in the movies where you know you see a car dangling on a cliff yeah. and then like a butterfly lands here and then ah, bang, gone. Well, the boat would have done that. So uh, what they did was they put these floaty things underneath it <laughs> and they uprighted the ship because it had like toxic chemicals and stuff um, and also there are at least a couple of bodies that were never recovered so they want to get this ship out of there oh. take it off salvage it and hopefully recover the bodies well oh. this little one minute time lapse shows you what it took them a long time to do which was stand it up and float it away Cool. I just thought that was cool. Yeah. I mean, it sucks for the uh, folks who well, were involved in that accident, yeah. and we feel bad for you. At the same time, it proves why you should go to Greece, not Italy. They can't afford to go to Greece, though. <laughs> right. They really can't. <laughs> <laughs> the Greeks are, the Greeks are <laughs> totally screwed up from a financial yeah. perspective. There is no doubt about that. But speaking of financial perspectives... We are going to take a commercial break so that we can pay the bills. These lights ain't going to turn themselves on, people. Welcome back to the last and final 
segment of Geek Beat Live. Yeah, seriously, you got me scared there for a second. I, I thought you were about to drop a bomb. We're going to... <laughs> you did that the we, I wish that we had that song, You Dropped a Bomb on Me. I wish we had it like, I wish you had one of those boards where it's like laugh button oh, and geez. you dropped a bomb button. <laughs> then you could have played that, but we didn't, so I just, that was... Well, it's hey. unboxing time. Time to unbox stuff. What you got? I got a box. Yeah, you I see open that. It? Okay. It's a big one. Oh, it's label. It's to you. Oh, that's to me. It's got a. Fine. It looks like it's got a. It's for me. Let's see what it is. I'm jealous. Why Ooh. is it to you? Ah, you know what this is. That looks like. This is a new backpack or bag it slash backpack. It looks pretty backpack. sturdy. This this is oh, a bag. Wow. Yeah, it's really nice. This one is designed. For gadgets specifically, oh wow, this has some stuff I've never seen before. Let's see. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look. These are your uh, little, you know, shoulder, shoulder straps, yeah. right? Look at this. Look at this right here. There's a little pouch. Oh, this is magnetic. Yeah, it's magnetic. Look at the pouch. The pouch. Oh, cool. It somehow folds out. You got a zipper, and inside there are two different. Awesome. Compartments, okay, inside there. Can you see that? And so you zip it up and it folds together and it magnetically connects. So I guess you could put like a phone in one and a iPod in the yeah. other or something. Like there's two gadgets right there. I've never That's seen so that cool. before ever on any bag. Also in the back, it looks like there is a pouch right here. So we could put something in here. And on the front, you've got a couple of things. Uh -oh. This is magnetic Look at that. as well. Magnetic opens up into a large pocket here. And little yeah, pouch thingies there. Pouches and wait, there. you oh. missed something. There is a hidden Ooh, cool. super secret zipper right here. Well, you know, nice. For another, there's another pocket right there. I like okay. how I like the color, the blue. It's yep. nice. It's nice for the ladies. And also, inside? hang on. Oh, you missed this. There's another a, one. There's a hang tag thing coming oh. out of here. I'm guessing. Maybe that's where you can attach keys and stuff. But yeah, there's a zipper, so that's for wow. inside this oh, pouch. Inside that. So there's like one, two, there's a whole bunch of pockets out here. Okay, now you can. Yeah, that, the, that, that's magnetic, and it's pretty strong. Inside you have the front pouch with a couple of pouches here. Fully lined. Yes, super soft and cushy. Then one in here, and another one in the back. So they made it so that you can keep your tablet and, and your, your laptop separate and separately cushioned. That is cushioned. awesome. And you can see everything inside there. Yeah, I really, really think this is cool. I had read about it when they put out the press release, so I wanted to take a look. It's even better than I expected yeah. it to be. Uh, in the back, I can imagine putting like papers and things in here. Oh, you look. Use papers? Look. There is also a belt oh, strap through here, cool. so you could have something could to have attach like it to your strap, waist. Yeah. Nice. I mean, you might even like this. I, th I think it's I might. It's really, really nice. Well, so uh, wait, what did that mean? You might even well, like I this. Well, I mean, it's like not, I don't think I could get away with it because when I open it, people are going to go, "Oh, oh, I see." <laughs> this but is called. It's from Blue Flame. It's beautiful. Yeah, from nice. Blue Flame. So. Excellent job, guys, and so, we're going to give it a is try. This, is, I think is this they're what only I'm supposed to carry bucks. around all your gadgets uh, in Hawaii with? That's right. Okay. Did you hear what I said? 99 uh, there, bucks? I don't know if it's out yet or not, but if I recall, I think the MSRP was 99 bucks. Very cool. That is a hell of a good buy yes. for a very, very nicely done bag, especially Indeed. guys like if you have a girlfriend or something. You can get one of these. Yeah. I want to see now if they have one. I think it's a beautiful bag and the colors are wonderful. I want to see if they have one that's maybe a little more plain because I think a guy could use it just as well. Oh, yeah. But they totally. probably wouldn't with that quite that same exact design. We'll see. Okay. We'll let you know after she gives it, gives it a shot. Let's see what's next. <laughs> They're saying I would want a pink one. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> you know how I l hate you my pink. You love your pink. Uh, oh, this is from Blue... Wait, oh... What? Am I not supposed to see that? You were supposed to remind me, Dave. Hey, there, oh, is this embargoed? Wait, yes, am I, I think, not supposed to see it, or is everybody, I, no, everybody not, supposed not supposed to see, to see it? it? I think this is embargoed. Okay, we're going to set well, that one aside. We got, we, we got to see the box, so. 
You know what, guys? <laughs> Dave Sometime. was supposed to remind me to right. look at the boxes and make sure. You know what, guys? Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, sometimes we get products before they're even released so that we can give feedback and or prepare stories in advance. That's why we can't show you something. Yes. We try to keep those boxes separated so they don't even make it over here, but I guess one slipped through. Here, here's your substitute box. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Um, there we go. <laughs> How does this box open? All right. Inside we have... What is that? It's called it's Uclear. Called Uclear Evolution and Communication. Oh, I know what that is. Boomless Music Calls Intercom GPS. <gasps> oh, look at that. I know what this is. Look at this. It is for? It's for your motorcycle helmets or other kinds of helmets. It is a Bluetooth communications system. Let's open that bad boy up. Okay. Very cool. Here we go. Oh, look, nice. I like Ooh, the, I like when nice. packages open like this. Yeah, me too. You feel like oh. You feel like you've ah. get, you've gotten something really special. These little things mount on the edge of your helmet. Okay. Cool. And so they have. You'll notice they have really big buttons. Yes. There is a big arrow up and arrow down button, which allows you to control volumes. And then the other big button is like power and or to initiate or answer calls. Cool. So that's uh, wait. One, they have lots do you of have other. To, do you have to put both on? A helmet? Is it? Eat one goes on each helmet. This is a pair. You could buy these okay, individually, okay, okay. but this is a pair. And so there's all kinds of accessories. We wow. will not be able to go through everything right now, but there are there are accessories to mount these things, <laughs> like all over the place okay I don't even know what that would go on but I mean there's an ex not not a wrist I, I don't know what this but that will mount on sub probably a strap oh this goes on a like a oh. like a snowboard kind of uh, uh, helmet strap so these are for various kinds of helmets look at all these accessories and then wow. here are the here are the so, little John, each one of those is a transceiver, right? uh, yeah these are they're receivers, yeah, they're transceivers, and here are the here are the earpieces. So these these get mounted up in your helmet. Like that helmet we saw. Show them the close up on that, Dave. That helmet we saw at CES. Yeah, it's kind of like that. So imagine these thin little things get mounted up inside the helmet, okay, and then this little piece is somewhere nearby yeah. them, and they're connected. So when I want to hit initiate calls, I just tap a button. Very cool. So very, very nice. cool. Nice. And that's called Uclear. Yeah. The HBC220 Snow. This, this, dual pack. this particular one, it says. Awesome. So okay, I'm and you have to... one more package. This is the package that he was ranting about earlier. Yeah, sorry. And, uh, I already told you guys what was going to be in it. I think yeah, he did. I'm pretty sure that's what's in it. So let's just uh, kind of give him a quick view. Let's see. This box didn't get pre-opened, pre-sliced, so we got to slice it on the air. There we go. And we got newspaper. That's just to prove newspaper what the date is, is. Oh yeah! Wow. And here it is. Why did you think it was going to be too light? Why did you think that was too light? It's really. I mean, feel it. Wow. It, how can it be that light? It's. I, I didn't think it was it because it's, it's way too light. So this is the Wayfay. We were telling you guys this is brand new. Okay, I don't think anybody's seen these things yet. But Callie reached out to him and said, "Hey, can we give it a try?" Um, so let's just open it yep. up. And uh, they were very responsive. Very nice. That's excellent. Love it when they're responsive. Yep. Okay. He's used to sharp objects, guys. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> I cut myself all the time. <laughs> Can you get it? Yeah. Oh, they package it well, huh? It feels like something's kind of sticking, sticking in the in, inside. Yeah. There we go. It's now, it's, well, maybe, yes, no. I'm just going to have to tear the packaging. There. there we go. It was just stuck a little bit. Okay, so they've got it Velcroed into the package, actually. 
Oh, these Velcro straps are part, part of, of it. it. Yeah, so that you can tie it around the tripod. Really cool. So if you look on the inside, it's got a, uh, I don't know, what would you call it? Kind of a channel, kind of like a little channel where it would strap to things. And the Velcro is built right into it. So you could strap it around, for example, the uh, tripod, tripod legs. Now on the top, there's a USB. That will take a USB cable from here into the USB control port on your, on your camera, whether it's a Nikon, a Canon, or whatever it is. And then when you power this thing on, it will create a Wi-Fi hotspot. You download the app, you connect to yeah. this thing, and bingo, you can start issuing it commands to control the camera and or uh, get images, video, etc. from the camera to your iPad. So it's really small. I it's like awesome. that it's got the built-in straps. It's a lot straps. smaller than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, that's what she cool. said. <laughs> well, guys... With that, <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining us. We appreciate you uh, coming in every week and hope to see you next week. Meanwhile, follow her all week on Twitter. Go to twitter.com forward slash Callie Lewis or go to google.com forward slash plus Callie Lewis. And he's even more interesting to follow at google.com slash plus John P or twitter.com slash John Post. <laughs> All right, I'm Callie. I'm John. Bye. Bye.